Let's go, Chriso. Let's go, Chriso. Let's get to cooking. Today, we making beef and broccoli the official, unofficial chef way. How hard could it be? A bag of groceries. All fresh ingredients. You know how we do. Come on, man. You think we switching it up in the kitchen? <laughs> we ain't switching it up in the kitchen. Trust me. All right, let's get it. Yo, shout out to this Captain Crunch box that's been in all my videos so far. Like, I promise you guys, I do be eating this. <laughs> I just be noticing his face in the back of all the videos. Now, before we really get into this, I made a promise to y'all last video. And see, Chris O, he keeps his word. Knives. Got some knives. And not just any knives, some actually cool looking knives. They almost look like purplish, neon. They kind of remind me of the Eagles a little bit, you know, a little nostalgia, but nah, for real, knives. Now, yeah, I only got three knives. I saw, I saw a bunch of different knife sets, like with 30, 30 knives or like 25 knives. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. How am I about to go from no knives to 30 knives? That don't even make sense, you feel me? Like, I'm trying to start small, so I'm gonna start with these three and master these three knives, and then we'll be able to move on. Oh, and I got a, what? Cutting board. My poor, my poor counter here don't have to suffer no more. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna mince our garlic, and we're gonna mince our ginger. And mince basically just means cut it up into real small pieces. I like to get that stuff ready so that when it's time to cook the food, we can just throw it in there. You know we gotta wash our hands first. Come on, pause the video and go wash your hands. So according to my knife guide here, they got a little guide which shows you what each knife is used for. It looks like we're gonna use our small one to mince this because that's for like vegetables and stuff like that. Actually, my bad, I just, I see the word mincing right here actually on this knife. So because I see the word, I just feel like that's the knife. Look at that. This ain't no baby knife right now, all right? This, this need to be protected as you can see, okay? Look at this. I feel like once I take this out, you hear one of them shing, shing. <laughs> Gotta get a closer look at that. This is such a different step up from my normal knife that I've been using, which is this. Look, look at the look at the two difference. Now listen, I, I appreciate you, butter knife. You got us through two full meals, but now, now you just hear it sound sharp. It's time for me to move on. Oh no, listen, listen, don't don't, don't get upset. Don't get upset. I'm gonna still use you when it comes to butter and cutting things like that. But no, no, shh, 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 you you can't handle the vegetables and the mincing. Okay, stay in your lane. Back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all on me. Come on, come on. <laughs> Got you on the cut cam. All right, so let's see what this mincing, gar uh, I'm about to say garlic. This is actually ginger. It's gonna be my first time mincing this. So I heard you take a piece. Ooh, look at that cut. Of course I didn't use the cutting board, damn it. Always cutting up my stuff. That's what the ginger look like on the inside. So now I heard it's actually good to take like a spoon and to scrape and peel the skin off. Look at that. It peels right on off. Hold on, let me show y'all. Peels right on off. It does peel right off, but this joint is still kind of hard though. It's like you gotta get all the stuff off. This knife is sharp as shit. I ain't gonna lie, I love it. I can't believe I was using a butter knife. No offense, butter knife. No, oh, no. So we take this skin, move that to the side, and then we got ourselves a fresh ginger. And now, we're just gonna take our knife and get to cutting. Let me show y'all again how good this is. Let me make sure you really on that cut cam. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Ooh. 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 <laughs> so now we're just gonna get this into real small pieces. Now 
I know y'all saw some of the stuff I cut in the other video. But now that we real knifing, <laughs> the cutting is just inviting. <laughs> the cutting is just inciting. I'm gonna take this minced ginger and I'm gonna put it on this plate, right? Now we're gonna mince some of that garlic. And we already know how to do that. Garlic is a, a popular thing that's been in the kitchen. So you know we take it, hit one of those, hit it one more. Hit it a little bit more, peel the skin, take the garlic out, that's still more skin, that's garlic. And bring out our handy dandy mincer and get to mincing. So I'm gonna start mincing. I'm probably gonna mince all of this, maybe just leave a little bit. So yeah, so then we just get to mincing. Minskin? I hope that's a word, minskin. I ain't gonna lie, I really do feel like I'm on some Gordon Ramsay with my real knife. I don't know if you gotta be as aggressive as I am. I just feel like that really make me feel like I'm doing something in the kitchen. Peel that skin, take the garlic, and do it all again. I probably didn't even realize this, but when I do the cut cam, I dare be on the floor like this. <laughs> and then, as I'm sitting here, I was like, wait, this is a small kind of chair that I got. What if I just... And that's how you work smarter, not harder. Garlic and ginger minced to perfection. Yeah. So now we're gonna get our marinade, okay? This is like one of the most important things for our meal, beef and broccoli. So we're gonna take about three tablespoons of sherry. Sherry is a cooking wine, all right? I couldn't find sherry, so I got a cooking wine that looks similar to sherry. So we're gonna put like three tablespoons of this up in there. Another thing I just realized I don't have, a measuring cup. So today we're gonna use a bowl. But listen guys, I'm gonna get a measuring cup, all right? Look, we, we got the knives. Yeah, y'all saw the knives, okay? So we gonna, we building the kitchen together. That's the real professional, unprofessional chef way. That's just some real official, unofficial chef stuff. So we're gonna get our tablespoons of sherry. It's funny how we're using this cooking wine because I feel like the last meal had some wine. All right, I definitely made a mess trying to show y'all that. So that was one tablespoon. And then we're going to do two. And then look, I'll just, I'll just freehand that one. Three. <laughs> Something like that. Soy sauce. We're going to take half a cup of soy sauce. Now, anybody who really eat beef and broccoli know that this is like the main thing you're tasting right there. It's that dark sauce. And we got a good amount of that. Yep. Almost half a cup. Yup, almost half a cup. And we add that into our marinade. Yo, that damn near killed the soy sauce. Look at this. Look at this. That's more than halfway done. They only about a, a cup of soy sauce in here. Now we're gonna take a couple of spoons of this brown sugar. Teaspoons, that is. They got dark brown sugar and light brown sugar. I didn't really know which one to get. Light brown sugar just seemed like, I don't know, like I was messing with that. But I ain't got no, like, I ain't had no problems with the dark brown sugar. I just felt like the light brown sugar is cool, too. Like, is that racist? We just gonna dip and slip and dip and slip. Now we get that ginger popping. That ginger. Throw that in the sauce or the marinade. My bad, you know, I gotta remember the chef talk, the marinade. Since we did the ginger, you know we gotta do the garlic. Throw that garlic in there. Like I said, I like garlic. So vampires, goons, goblins, anybody who don't mess with the, the garlic, I think it's just the vampires, I don't gotta worry about that. But make sure you brush your teeth if you're eating that garlic. Now we're gonna take a fourth of cup of cornstarch. I actually never used cornstarch before. I, I don't even really know what it is. So a four for cup, damn this shit, messy. Okay, that look about, that look about like a four. These are the messes that happen when you don't have a cameraman. It's all good. So we're gonna take that, four for cup, and throw it in the marinade. Yeah, make it thick. So then we're gonna mix this up or whisk it up. Now normally you would have a measuring cup so it'd be easier to mix this up. I might have to actually transfer this to a cup. I don't even think I can mix this 
Oh wait, maybe I can do it like this. But yeah, this sauce is the most important part of the beef and broccoli, y'all. Mixing the marinade like this, it's messy and ineffective. So I'm thinking about transferring it to a cup, which would be easier if I did have a measuring cup because it has a little point. And that actually tastes good though. All right, so let's see how good my pouring skills are. All right, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I think I, okay. I think I'm just gonna keep going. Go, 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 That's how we do that. Who need a measuring cup? I do. I really do. And only minimal mess. Okay, so I got my sauce. So now I should be able to mix this up for real. Yeah, look at that. Really mixing it. So I wasn't trusting that bowl mix. That one it. This is it right here. As you know, us official, unofficial chefs don't be really having full refrigerators or like full freezers. We buy all the ingredients for our meal that we need for the day. However, when you buy ingredients just for the day, you end up having stuff in the crib. Like, now I got cornstarch. Now I got cooking wine. Now I got brown sugar. Now I got beef broth. But we ain't used that yet. Steaks. I got two of them. And I think I might only need one. Like sometimes I'd be buying too much stuff. I know for a fact I got way too much broccoli. Look at all this broccoli. Like who, look, look at all this broccoli. Am I eating all of this broccoli in one meal right now? No, I got broccoli. Look at this steak. I got this steak. And mind you, this is some quality steak right here. I got this steak. Four dollars and seventy nine cents. Of course, we're gonna rinse off our steaks. All right. I always do that with any any type of meat or anything that I cook. It's just you know what I'm saying. That's what you gotta do. Oh, baby. Brought the cut can in to see a closer look at us cutting this steak. All right, look. So let's see according to our knives which one of our knives we need according to my knife manual it's telling me that the medium knife not the small one but the medium one it says the large knife can handle this job as well but because this is like small steak the medium knife yeah yes i did feel cool doing that all right let's get the cutting hmm Ooh. So we can see how far we came. Just so we can see how far we came. Let the record show that me trying to cut fast like that did kind of do a decent job. But I actually almost cut myself, so we just gonna make sure that you know we don't we don't do that anymore. Man, it really is night and day with this knife, yo. No cap. All right, so I cut these up. I'm gonna cut them up some more so they're like easier to eat when I throw them in the beef and broccoli, and then I'm gonna cut those up and see what uh see what they looking like. I don't know if I need my other ones yet, but uh I'll be able to tell after I see what this looking like. So I'm looking and. That just don't look like enough. So I got that other round about to go down. And now we're gonna take our meat and we're gonna pour half of our marinade. Now I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to record, but I did pour half of the marinade right here. You know what I'm saying? And it actually does look great. I'll give you a zoom in on that. Woo wee. Yeah, and we just gonna let that sit for a minute. Mix it a little bit and let it sit. While that's sitting, we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna crank up the heat. I like to do a, a medium, low, medium kind of vibe. Take that broccoli. All right, we're gonna take our broccoli. I got a little bit too much. We're gonna rinse it. And then we're gonna start breaking it up. Really like, get like little trees like that. That's what the broccoli be looking like at the, at the restaurants, right? Take a little tree. Put it aside. Tree, put it aside. 
tree. Put it aside. Put it aside. I thought I got too much broccoli, but when I look at it, like, y'all see how big my hand is? Like, I can eat all that broccoli. I think I actually did need three broccolis. <laughs> We're gonna take some of that good old vegetable oil. Wet the pan real quick. Let that mix in. That might have been a little too much, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that out of there. Don't do that though if you're doing this at home. I mean, you could definitely take oil out of your pan. Just don't splash it in there. That was some one hand camera guy stuff. You know, you know I ain't got a cameraman. And we pour that broccoli. Get all that broccoli in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That might be a lot of broccoli for this, but yeah. So what we're trying to accomplish here is we just want to steam the broccoli. That's it. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to fry it, get it too crazy. We just want to steam it. And this is what it's supposed to be looking like. Now we're going to take our done broccoli and we're going to transfer that to a plate. Now let me stop before I make a mess. We're going to put that pan back on the skillet. And guess what's going in? Guess what's going in now? Yeah. Had to try the broccoli to make sure it was done. Every last drop. Come on. All right, now that that's in there. Yep, we got our heat on high. And we just let that thing do its thing. Come on. Make sure that thing on high. Mm -hmm. Yo guys, I'm not gonna lie. This sauce, this marinade, Remember how we only use half of this. We're gonna pour the rest of that on as a sauce. We're gonna get all that garlic in there. So now, take a little beef broth. And we pour a little bit of that in there. Not too much, just a little bit. We do the same thing with the, with the oyster sauce. A little bit of that, boom. Maybe a little bit more. Boom. Then we just throw that broccoli right up in there. We get to stirring, mixing everything together. Yeah. And would you look at that? Hoo hoo! Man, look like we right at a restaurant. Once you get to stirring, that's all you need. Just let that cook a little bit. Chico, I understand you this time. I understand you this time, buddy. Let me just say, as an official, unofficial chef, we are getting better, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This look like restaurant quality. Chico, Chico, look at this. Hey, don't run, hey, don't run for me, Chico. Look at this. Like, yo. It looks like it's plated. Like, like, yo. Like, we really doing this. We really level it up. We started with butter knives. No measuring cup. All right, we still ain't got no measuring cups, but yo! I'm genuinely happy for this. Like this, wow. All right, let's get some meat, some of that steak. Let's get some of that broccoli. Look, I am not lying when I say this is better than restaurant quality. Like, mmm, the freshness. Wow. Mmm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Mmm. So there you have it. Meals made by an official, unofficial chef. Let us know what you want us to make next. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Uh, looking for